So welcome to Ken Benjamin, LICC Ken Benjamin. Ken is now the Director for Church Resources of the London Institute for Contemporary Christianity. It's great to have you with us. Uh, and also, of course, former President of the Baptist Union. Um, so Hi there, Paul. a bit about what you're doing now, uh, now that you've moved from the church in Chichester, where you were pastor, to LICC. Well, it's great to be with you. Uh, good to see you, Paul. Uh, yeah, as I was... In my time of president, one of the things I was emphasizing was that we need to equip people for the whole of their lives, um, wherever they find themselves, Monday to Saturday, as well as Sunday. And that pointed me to LICC's resources, which I was already using in my church. And that's led to an ongoing burden for our churches and our people to go on equipping people wherever they find themselves. And ultimately, long story short, that's led to me leading LICC's church relationships. Uh, linking them to churches and church leaders across all denominations across the country and across the UK, but still having a particular burden for our, our Baptist family. Fantastic. And one of the main things that uh, LICC do, particularly for those of us uh, in the north of England, is, is the opportunity of a, a learning um, hub where we can go on a journey and, and learn what it means in practice to, to be whole life disciples. So could you explain uh, how the Learning Hub operates and, and what happens in the Learning Hub. Gladly, yeah, we do lots of short-term things, as you know, and one-off events and seminars that some of you in the North East have, have been along to, I know. But if somebody, and a church in particular, really gets this in the sense of, really gets the idea that we'll never get anywhere until we equip our people for their everywhere, and we need to fully embrace what it looks like to be a church that is frontline friendly, that equips people for the whole of their lives to make a difference wherever they are, then it makes then it makes sense then to go on a journey of looking at how that affects so many aspects of our church life. So what we offer is a course over a couple of years, joining in every couple of months or so with some input, sometimes in an evening online and occasionally uh, meet, meeting physically, gathering a number of churches together and the implications across a range of aspects of church life. So that might be, what is whole life disciple making in a church anyway? What does it look like? How do you create culture change for that? What, is, what does it look like to preach in that way? What does it look like in terms of spiritual practices, in terms of worship, in terms of our small groups, in terms of sharing our faith, and in terms of working right across the different ages um, that we have from, from the youngest to the oldest? In an ideal world, what you have is a core team who say, yeah, we, we get this and we'll, and we'll come along to it and be part of it. And then inviting along um, the people for which one particular week is relevant. So inviting along those involved in worship for the week that we look at worship, inviting along those who look at preaching or involved in preaching sometimes for the week we look at preaching and so on. Fantastic. And uh it's a transformational thing, isn't it? It's about, about helping church to, to slowly, step by step, reorientate towards uh, being more equipping of, of the congregation to, to, to live in mission every day of the week. I think so, Paul. And I think, I, I think many of us, certainly when I was a church minister just a few months ago, I, 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 we sort of know this is important, whole life discipleship, but it can drop off the radar, can't it? Because so many other things shout for our attention, like getting the next online service on or getting the next physical service on, we pray when we're, when we're allowed to do that. And the next thing on the to-do list, um, whereas equipping our people for wherever they are now, whatever they're doing right now, that, that never quite shouts in the same way. So to have a consistent reminder, to create some culture shift in your church, such that it becomes a naturally embedded thing to be equipping people for the whole of their lives. It has to be key if our churches are gonna thrive and, uh, and so it's a way of putting that on the agenda for, for a group of churches who kind of encourage each other along the journey for a, for a couple of years. Lovely. Thank you very much. So we've got the opportunity, if you'd like to explore what the Learning Hub is about, uh, of having a taster evening, uh, the evening of Tuesday, the 23rd of February. Um, mm. I'd say briefly, Ken, what's going to be involved that evening? How, what's going to happen at the taster evening? I suppose it's a bit like coming along to an alpha taster evening or equivalent other seeker courses are available, Paul. But the idea that you're, you're not committed to, co to coming to the whole course, but we give you a flavour of, of the format, of the style, of, 
of who uh, we are. I'd be sharing in the, in the input with a, a colleague, Neil Hudson, who used to do my role and is, is based up in the North himself. And uh, we will do, share the input over, over the, the various sessions over uh, the next couple of years. So getting to know what the content could be and how you could have a, a role in shaping it and, and see who else is in the room and get the feel of, is this worth the, in, the investment? And uh, you know, it won't take offense if you come and it's not for you, but it is a chance to say, okay, um, is this a key ingredient? Not like, um, like an add-on that we occasionally think of, but a, something to deeply embed in, in how you do church. Yes, so, so really want to encourage you uh, uh, to, to think about coming along. You've got nothing to lose. You'll find out about what it's about uh, and, and then you can more, have a more informed decision as to whether you feel this is a journey that you want to go on. So thanks very much, Ken. And uh, we look forward to seeing you uh, resourcing us in the north of England over the coming years. May God bless you in your ministry as you go onwards. And, and you too, Paul, and, and all you guys in the, in the North East. It was great to visit you. Um, you're on my, hearts, on my heart and prayers, in my prayers. And um, I hope to be able to see you in 3D one day when we're not uh, just meeting on Zoom. Yeah, yeah, I look much better in 3D. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> great. Thanks very much.